Hi everyone, this story is called The Wolf and the Seven Kids. There once was a mother goat who had had seven little kids, and she loved them as well as any mother has ever loved her children. One day, she gathered her seven kids around her and said, Dear children, I must go into the forest to get food for us to eat. While I'm away, do not open the door for anyone, especially the wolf. You will always know him by his rough voice and by the dark gray fur on his paws. Don't worry, mother, said the kids. We will take good care of ourselves. So the mother bleated goodbye and went on her way with a calm mind. Meanwhile, the wolf was all alone in the forest. He never had anyone to play with, as the other animals were scared of him. This made him quite sad, but he thought, maybe if the seven kids just got to know him, they would want to play with him. The wolf decided he would disguise himself in order to get the kids to give him a chance. Soon, there came a knock at the door. And a voice called out, Open the door, my dear children. Your mother is back and has brought you each something. But oh, what a rough voice. The kids thought it surely must be too soon for their mother to be back. No, we won't open the door, cried the kids. Our mother has a sweet, gentle voice, and your voice is rough. You must be the wolf. And so the kids went on playing, feeling very proud of themselves. The wolf felt very sad, for he could not help that his voice was rough. He ran off to a store where he bought a big lump of special kind of chalk, which he ate to make his voice soft. Then he came back and knocked at the door and called out in a gentle voice, Open the door, my children. Your mother is back and has brought you each something. The wolf felt for sure that this time the kids would open the door and he could prove to them that he was actually a very nice wolf. But the poor wolf had put his paws against the window and the kids could see his dark gray fur. No, we won't open the door, cried the kids. Our mother's feet do not have dark gray fur. You must be the wolf. Again, the kids went on playing feeling even prouder that they had identified the wolf by his paws. Again, the wolf felt sad, for he could not help that his fur was dark gray. And so he ran to a baker. Baker, he said, please spread some dough over my paws. And when the baker had coated his paws with dough, the wolf went to the miller. Miller, he said, Please, sprinkle some white flour over my paws. Now the wolf's feet looked just like mother goats. The wolf thought for sure this time the kids would open the door so he can show them what a nice and fun wolf he was. For a third time, the wolf went to the door and knocked. Then the wolf said in a gentle voice, Open the door, my dear children. Your mother is back and has brought you each something. The wolf was almost smiling. He was so excited to play with the kids. First, show us your feet, said the kids. And the wolf put his white flower covered paws against the door. Yes, this must be our dear mother, said the kids. And they opened the door. <coughs> In pounced the wolf, ready to play. The terrified kids tried to hide because they did not know that the wolf was actually nice. The first ran under the table, the second crawled under the bed, the third hid under the rug, the fourth ran into the kitchen, the fifth jumped into the cupboard, the sixth ran under the tub, and the seventh climbed inside a big grandfather clock. The wolf thought the kids must be playing a great game of hide and seek. He thought if he found them all, the kids would finally want to play with him. So the wolf found them all. All that is, except the youngest, who was hiding in the grandfather clock. The other kids were so scared 
that when the wolf found them, they passed out. The wolf was so scared that the other animals would blame him, so he took the kids into the forest to wait for them to wake up. The wolf, tired from all the excitement, strolled into the forest, lay down under a tree, and fell into a deep sleep next to the six sleeping kids. A short while later, the mother goat came home, and quite a sight met her eyes. The door stood open, tables and chairs were thrown all about, dishes were broken, quilts and pillows were torn off the bed. She called out for her children, but they were nowhere to be found. She called each one again by name, but no one answered until she called the name of the youngest kid. Here I am, mother, a little voice cried. Here inside the big grandfather clock. Their mother goat helped her youngest child out of the clock. Now, the youngest kid was quite sensitive and had realized that the wolf thought the kids were playing a game of hide and seek. He told his mother so, and they went off into the forest to find the other kids and the wolf and explain the misunderstanding. There they saw the wolf fast asleep under a tree, snoring so hard that he shook the branches. Then the mother goat saw the rest of her kids sleeping there, hidden behind the big wolf. Dear me, she thought, how peaceful they are sleeping. No sooner had she had the thought than one by one her little kids and finally the wolf woke up. When the kids woke up, they saw their dear mother and youngest brother smiling at them and they instantly felt happy. <laughs> their mother told them that the poor wolf was actually a kind animal who had just wanted to play and they all danced around celebrating their newfound friendship with the wolf. And that, my friends, is the end to the story of the wolf and the seven little kids. Thanks for watching.